capture every thumb blasting moment in HD. then foam insulation and then another layer of OSB. This uh, OSB apparently there's so much glue in it it acts as a vapor barrier which is awesome and they pre-drill all of the holes for the um, the services. One of the big things about this site is we're looking for air tightness uh, and obviously water tightness and it's important that we're able to they don't tell you how to do it but they tell you that you need to be able to have basically a continuous layer uh, of uh, air and water tightness through the slab, the under, under, underside of the slab, over the top, over the top of the footing, and down. And then the sip is going to sit on top of this, and then we're going to need to have another piece of uh, waterproof membrane on the top, and then you're going to have your cladding and stuff. And so they don't really tell you how to do that, um, but we need to kind of figure it out and so I think what we're gonna end up doing is using this peel and stick which you can pour concrete against uh, some of the other ones you can't like the blue peel and stick we're actually gonna do it all the way over and down and into this into this seam down here or this uh, this cold joint and then we're gonna put our first plate which is gonna be a pressure treated 2 by 6 and that's gonna be the full width and then there's going to be, or it's like six and a half, and then there's going to be a, a two by six that sits on top of it, which is a bit smaller. So the sip is actually going to sit, the edges of the sip are going to sit on the two by six, or the six and a half, and then there's going to be a, a five and a half, an actual two by six that goes inside, and you nail onto that. I'll try and do a video to show how that works. So we're going to start putting the plates down, and Brian was just showing me that there's a, uh, specs in here these black dots are beads of uh, this stuff called mastic it rhymes with plastic so I'm gonna pretend that that's what it is this is for air tightness so we're gonna do a couple of beads all over the whole thing all the sips in for the first level and yesterday I was, I was putting the top plates in and straightening out the walls 
today, Stu and I are going to be. Um, there's a beam pocket or a beam pocket. We're going to put a beam in, and we're going to hang her off. Move all, put all the joists in for the first floor. So somebody once said that construction is like 80% moving material. So today we're just moving TJIs for our floor joists. And then the beam that we need is that one. So we have to move all this junk to get to the beam that we need. we haven't really been showing is when it absolutely pisses down rain and you're doing things like framing walls, framing floors on top of walls. Cool. So there is a week done. <laughs> We've got a ton of stuff done this week which is Awesome. Uh, Stu and I ran off and we did all the rim joists, all the joisting for the little balcony that's going to go at the front. Uh, we have the landing in there now with the, the sips started. Um, we have the, basically the whole main floor done. The garage out there, we're going to do that later. Um, but yeah, you can see all the joisting is in. We've got some weird funky blocking. Look at this weird blocking detail we have to do. A good jig and a jog around it. And then you can see the retaining wall at the back. Uh, TJI's here a lot, um, which is like the name of the company. It's a truss joist, top cord, and a bottom cord. And they have this like OSB with these little holes that you can punch out for electrical services and plumbing or whatever. Um, the cool thing about these is that when you put a load down on top of them, the only place that really carries the load is the top and the bottom uh, cord. The web in the middle just connects the two. There's actually very little load that's placed on it, so you can put a bunch of holes in this and it doesn't actually affect it that much, which is uh, just kind of a cool thing that I learned in like a, a building science course. 
another thing that we're doing with the building wrap, um, because we want this to be like um, really airtight and really good, we've actually put the building wrap all the way around the joist, which it, it doesn't normally, normally you don't, you don't get that in there. Uh, you just do it from plate to plate and there's a space in the middle. But here we're going to be able to run a continuous air barrier all the way up and tie it in. And so the, the whole house is going to be all the way up. Uh, continuous air seal, which is going to be really handy. Uh, yeah, so I'll finish off with a little view. It was raining today. Bluebird day. Not a bluebird day. Next. Next week, uh, basically we're going to be getting the, the sheeting on the floor and then there's almost no interior walls that are sips. Um, so it's just gonna be the, around the outside uh, is gonna be sips and they're all structural. And as soon as they're done, we'll be able to go up and build the next level, which is crazy fast. Um, so that's gonna be fun, stay tuned.